In this video, we'll talk about non-homologous end joining. This is a way by which double-stranded DNA breaks can be fixed. Let's learn why non-homologous end joining is really important for a cell. Double-strand DNA break is the most cytotoxic form of DNA damage. It has to be repaired, otherwise it has multiple deleterious consequences. For example, it can block the progression of replication fork, it can lead to loss of the chromosome segment, it can lead to apoptosis if it is not reversed. So moral of the story, DSB or double-stranded DNA break needs to be repaired. But the question is how? And this video is about non-homologous end joining. There are two ways by which double-stranded DNA repair can be fixed. One is homology-based uh, repair system and another is non-homologous end joining. Obviously, you can understand in this video, we are going to focus on non-homologous end joining based repair system. And let me tell you why it is so important. Because if the DNA damage happens in let's say G2 phase of the cell cycle, where already there is a replicated uh, DNA, that means homologous recombination based repair system is possible because there is a nice copy of the DNA. Using that as a template, the uh, DNA break in the other chromosome or other DNA segment can be fixed. But imagine a situation where the fault occurs in the G1 phase or early S phase. In this case, we don't have another copy which we can be using as a template. So the cell has to now repair its DNA without any homologous template. How it do that? It utilize the help of non-homologous end joining based repair system. So let's look at the overall mechanism of non-homologous end joining. So this is our double stranded DNA break which will be repaired by homologous end joining. So near the uh, break site there would be loss of some nucleotides and this process of loss of nucleotide is known as resection. This leads to production of single strand overhangs. Anyway, proteins like KU70 and 80 heterodimers would be recruited into these broken ends. KU70 and 80 further recruits DNA protein kinase C catalytic subunits. These protein kinase C catalytic subunits recruits Artemis. Artemis gets phosphorylated by DNA PKC and it can actually trim the ends of these overhangs. Later on, there would be recruitment of ligase 4 and other components such as XRCC4, XLF, etc. So this entire complex can lead to fixation of the double-stranded DNA break. Ultimately, the double-stranded DNA break is fixed and all these molecules are dissociated from the uh, broken DNA site. So this is how NHEJ works. Question is why NHEJ is very important. From a biological perspective, NHEJ is really important. And if we take special example of the immune system, it is damn important. But before that, let me tell you that NHEJ is very common in human, but it's not that common in bacteria. In bacteria, NHEJ could be found in those who, who form spores such as Bacillus subtilis. And this gives them an extra resistance. Non-homologous end joining can be found as an underlying mechanism of VDJ recombination which is super important to produce antibody diversity. So it is super important for B cell. So in the VDJ recombination there are multiple V, D and J segment which would be recombined in a particular fashion to give rise to antibody diversity. So there is first DJ recombination then there is VDJ recombination. This leads to production of a specific variable segment and for an different antibodies there are different variable segments which leads to antibody diversity and this is true for heavy chain and light chain both. Anyway there are specific recombinases such as RAG1 and RAG2 all these things lead to double stranded DNA breaks if they first cleave the first strand and then lead to the second strand cleavage. So this double strand DNA break which is generated has to be fixed 
and NHEJ is the mechanism by which this double stranded DNA break is fixed and the antibody and, and the antibody chains are generated. So the variable region of antibody requires VDJ recombination, which in turn requires the NHEJ mechanism. So let us quickly summarize what we have learned. We have learned why NHEJ is important. When and where does NHEJ take place? We looked at the mechanism of NHEJ and also we contextualize what is the importance of NHEJ from an immune point of view. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page. So you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All the links are in description. You can support my channel using Patreon. You can support me via a super thanks option, which is present in the right hand side corner of the video. You can click on that and pay via pay, Paytm, PayPal and UPI. Your small contribution means a lot for me. You can follow me and Nerdmedic in the social media. All the links are in the description. See you in next video.